Hi guys, so today I'm going to watch a new video. It's actually a promo video by Axion Films, the YouTube channel for the uh, upcoming MMA fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov versus uh, Tony Ferguson at UFC 249. And as we speak, the fight, you know, is little in a little bit doubt okay because you know as you all know it's coronavirus time right and uh, the fight is scheduled to take place on new york and as we speak uh, new york actually banned all the events temporarily banned all the events and there was some speculation that if the fight will happen in ufc effects without any uh, any fans and things like that but <laughs> also as we speak right now uh, Las Vegas just uh, just announced that uh, governor just announced that uh, every events is also temporarily banned. That means you can't you know you can't allow the fight on UFC uh, uh, to UFC Apex. So there is that tension there whether the fight will happen or not. But you know in my opinion I think the fight will happen because. You know, it it has to happen, man. It has to happen. <laughs> it's already oh, oh, already cancelled uh, four times, and man, and Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson, that's gonna generate some money, and that's gonna bring paper views. That's gonna generate money, crazy money, crazy amount of money. So Dana White will make it happen because, as we all know, Dana White and UFC do what is best for business, right? So they know what is best for business. So I think you know they will find a way. You know they will find a way. And honestly, I also believe that they will find a way. Okay, because I really need this to happen. Because if it cancels for the fifth time, it's it is confirmed that the fight is cursed. Okay, because who uh, thought uh, some crazy virus in uh, China just pop up and it's gonna cause a fight in New York what are the odds on that right what are the odds on that I mean what are the odds a professional fighter you know tripping over wire wire and can see the uh, can see the fight right what are the odds on that right maybe maybe it is cursed I don't know but anyway let's go and check out this promo it is a crazy promo it, you know Axiom Phillips always bring the best promo so anyway let's go and check it out okay I want to see this fight man Yep, UFC 216, he beat Kevin Lee and 219, of course, Edison Barbosa, a big number of the beat him and at UFC 223 <laughs> and the crazy thing is happened. Surgery, which has a reasonably long recovery. 24 is a trip to the wire, a professional athlete, a man. Who's healthy, you know, most, you know, ninety percent of the uh, universe uh, on the earth, okay? And he tripped a wire and injured. It hasn't been easy for him. It's brutal. Where is Tommy Ferguson right now? It's been a long year for me. You guys have no idea the stuff that I went through. I'm not gonna take your condescending handshake, therapist guy. I'm gonna do this shit on my own. You're telling me six <laughs> months to a year? I'm gonna do it in three months. I'm not really. <laughs> Tony Ferguson, Dave. This chapter in my life started a new one. I'm not going anywhere. You've overcome a lot to get where you are right now. Repeat the process over and over, and it showed inside that octagon tonight. I think people lose sight of what Tony Ferguson has done. He could be missing. I mean, Joel five minutes. That's who Tony Ferguson is. When I'm hurt, I I'm love that speaks. feeling because it's real. That's the most realest feeling that you could ever have. Everything else, happiness could be fake, crying could be fake, but pain, that's real. And you want to keep going. How do you do that? You keep putting your nose to the grindstone and you keep doing the damn thing. Tony! I think of it as he's just a very unique guy. <laughs> he does a lot of things that nobody else does. He's a weird, he weird guy. In a way that nobody else does. Snap down city. That's right. He fights. He wins in ways nobody else does. 
Tony only has one loss in the lightweight division ever. In October of 2013, you got back on the winning track where you defeated Mike Rio. Then in October of 2017, you become a champion in the organization. It's been a long time, Tony. What is next for El Cucu? Look at the timeline in which he came back from that knee injury. He got back up on the horse. He was on the same card as Nurmagomedov Gamedo and McGregor and won against a former champion. Then UFC 238. TKO Cowboy Cerrone Ooh. into the second round. That was a crazy fight. Josh Thompson. Dominate. Barboza, Lando Donata. REA. It was a better fighter today. Kevin Lee. Underestimated his work from the bottom. Anthony Showtime Pettis. Tony's a f***ing tough Mexican, bro. And Donald Cerrone. I humbly couldn't finish the fight, and I apologize. All of these on his 12th fight win streak. That's better than two. Oh, better with a title shot and having that 13 victory. That's right. You guys remember when I pulled out last time after UFC 209? UFC tell me, hey, you wanna do your title shot? You have to fight with some tough guys. Okay. Dominated Barbosa. Dominated. It's Edson Barbosa. Made, made, made him look like an amateur. Last couple years, I tried to change something. Dominated him. Dominated him. Destroyed him. Dominated him. Excuse me. Away from potential goat status. If he wins, if he wins against Tony Ferguson, he is the goat. Okay, there is no question about that. This guy is on another level. One of the greatest champions this octagon has ever seen. Obviously, when your name is mentioned, Tony Ferguson's name isn't far away. Of course. Do you see yourself going down with him down the line? I don't think it will. I'm going to tell you down the line. Tony Ferguson. Ferguson here during fight week. What can you tell us about your third title defense? Things are finally starting to move in the direction they're supposed to move. It's a topic that you have to talk about because it's so important in the division. December 2015 was the first time this fight was scheduled. Khabib Nurmagomedov forced to pull out that night. To that end, the April pulled out. Long issue for Tony Ferguson. So <laughs> the Ferguson pulled away. out. And then, of course, March 4, 2017, UFC pulled out. Khabib Nurmagomedov hospitalized prior to even getting to the scale. And then their last canceled bout was in 2018 in April. What do you Tony think is next for Khabib? Everybody's talking about Tony Ferguson. We all know the story. 
once the champion, one was the interim champion, got injured, came back. Yeah, 12 fights in a row, man. I should be calling for these shots. I believe that we are finally... He has a point. He never lost that in the title. It's the fight we need. And the tide has rise. I believe the dam is beginning to break. You feel like fifth time's the charm? We have to see that fight now. Time is the charm. Hopefully. Let's go. Bring it. More. I love it. This is the time to make Habib versus Tony. Tony Ferguson is next in line for the fight. Habib and Tony is confirmed. These two guys have been on a collision course forever. This guy just needs his first loss. All we're talking about Habib fans. You're flat-footed, you have no rhythm, and you're one-dimensional. Blah, 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 blah. No BS, just get there, all right? We have never seen someone so dominant. The question is, can he lose? I think you have to have a guy with some kind of secret weapon almost, like what Ferguson has. The surgeon, the boogeyman, Tony Ferguson, who makes everybody believe is fighting the guy who's never been cut before, the invincible one in Habib. I want to smash this guy. Yeah. Want to become undisputed UFC champion, you have to finish me. If not, I'm gonna keep going all night. This is my plan. This guy's gonna get his first loss. That's all I know. I said, let's go. This is right here. I'm defending my belt. It's Tony Ferguson. Let's go. Right, let's, let's go. Started. Ladies and gentlemen. This fight was gonna happen. Nobody's talking about Tony Tag. I can't wait to shut your face with my hand. No matter what you say, Khabib's gonna lose. He's gonna get finished. We'll see. What time is it then? Please tell this guy. Go watch my fight to see exactly why I have this belt. It's Tony time. There's never been a better time to be a fan. The longest win streaks in UFC lightweight division's history going up against each other. This fight is going to decide the greatest lightweight fighter in history. I'm about to catch me. Me hand it. I have to catch somebody because I'm the ego. Destiny <laughs> calls upon us. Another epic performance. It calls upon them. Right here at your front doorstep. It calls upon this moment. chasing it for so many years I sacrificed so much in our lives to get to the pinnacle of the sport it's a long road for you though tony i've learned how to do this from a long time ago listening to my dad and really paying attention being his apprentice for a long time you know, i'm a master now and i'm very fortunate that he pushed me to the limit to where i'm at what's your message for you young fans out there who look up to you so much respect your parents i'm spent all my life with my father I told you guys, when I go to the cage with my father, I say I go to the cage with the lion, you know? A lot <laughs> of people follow me. I have to show perfect, for example. We're not animals, man. We're not out here cockfighting. We're actually athletes. We come from good backgrounds. We have families, and we put a lot of time and effort into this. Now I'm going to demonstrate to the younger generation that they don't have to talk shit in order to get the things done. We can use this platform, Octagon, help people. This is very important. You can't look at these athletes and say, these aren't inspiring. If you want your dreams come true, you have to follow this. You never know what happened tomorrow. I really want to just keep getting better, and I want to see how far I can take this mixed martial arts thing, man. You have to keep going. Take your dreams. 
Antonia has kind of emerged over time as like this kind of cultish figure. His training methods yeah. are just kind of different. A lot of people don't get me. I get it, but it's not for them to get. I love the fact that people can't emulate what I do. What he does is reverse it's a crazy, crazy dude. Win, and he's winning. That just tells you there is no right way to play. And I'm glad a guy like Tony Ferguson is breaking the norm because that is what it's all about. I feel great everywhere about my power, my wrestling, my striking. It's going to take a special effort to sit him down. But again, if there's someone who could pull it off, it's a guy like Ferguson. Do not forget about me. If both guys hang it up and we never saw Habib Nurmagomedov fight Tony Ferguson, it'd be heartbreaking. Oh, man. I have to keep building my legs. Don't even talk about that. Tony and Khabib deserve to fight for that belt. Only great fights make you great athlete, you know. This is a great game that we're in. This is great martial arts. Khabib's a game opponent. He's a real fighter. You've now faced 28 men in mixed martial arts. None of them have been able to defeat you. I think anybody can lose any time. All greatest fighters lose. Don't say that, Khabib. Broken. Everything's meant to be new. What I'm doing here is cleaning up the sport. The game is supposed to evolve. I told you guys, I'm going to change this game. And I'm here to go after the real belt. These guys have been training for each other for years. My dreams, retired, undefeated, undisputed, UFC like a champ. El Kakui, I will haunt your dreams. Habib and Tony are the greatest. El Kakui. The only way you can have the definitive Who named him that? That's perfect, right? The concrete <laughs> greatest is the winner on April 18th. We need to fight for the fifth time. We need to try this out again. There's never been a better time to be a fan. Now we're here on the line belt. To every fan. To everyone who wants to witness the most important event in mixed martial arts history. Absolutely. To everyone who has been waiting this is the fight. This moment, this fight, this monumental event. It was always bound to happen. Only at one certain point in time. I'm here right now. And that time is Ah. <laughs> wow. That is a crazy, crazy promo, man. That is a crazy, crazy promo, and wow, man. I'm a, as, you, as you guys don't know, if you guys don't know, you know, uh, I'm a big Khabib fan. So, but you know, whenever he fights, I, I, I'm confident actually. Of course, I'm nervous when watching the fight, you know, but of course, every time I'm confident, I'm confident that, you know, when you, when you fought Conor McGregor, you know, he's going to be 90% of the, you know, 90 person he's going to win because, you know, of course, Conor have that love fan, you know, that power punch, you know, at the first round and other than that, you have nothing. And of course, I, I was a little bit worried about Dustin against Dustin Poirier, but of course, I know he's going to win there. But Tony Ferguson against Tony Ferguson, man, I have, I have that, I have this crazy feeling that, man, it could go wrong, you know, it could go wrong, you know, ah, I don't know why, of course I know why, because Tony Ferguson is, is the real deal. And... Man, it is going to be epic. It is going to be epic. I can't wait for that. UFC 249, uh, April 18. Please, please, God. Please make that happen, right? And, you know, of course, you know, I, the coronavirus is, is the bigger issue here. So we need to, you know, we need to take care of that. So that is the biggest, bigger issue. But say, as a selfish guy, you know, I say, I say Khabib fan, I say MMA fan, I say combat sports fan, I say sports fan, I need to see this fight, you know, selfishly I need to see this fight, so please, please make this happen.